Hi, I'm Hervé Jeanne. I'm the maker of the string metrics where you can compare the sound of different strings online. Today I want to present a set of gut strings from the brand Efrano. Efrano is a German company that was established in the year 1919. So that's now more than 100 years of experience in string making. They are really great strings and uh, the great thing is also that they aren't as expensive as most gut strings are. So I think it's really important to have these strings in the string metrics too. As you can see, the G and D strings are plain gut and the A and E strings are wound with a silver wire. So in the first part of this video, I will play a couple of things with these strings, show you what they sound like. Then I want to talk to you generally about gut strings and my experience over the years with gut strings. And in the third part of the video, I will just pick a standard and play it for you on the bass. So let's listen. So let's hear what they sound like in different uh, parts of the bass. The great thing about gut strings like these is this punch. It's always a great pleasure to play walking bass with this kind of strings. You can play some groove stuff. Of course, gut strings are used very much by rockabilly players, slappers. I can't really slap, but I give it a try anyway. And you can also play gut strings with the bow, of course. It's a quite a different feel playing on gut strings than playing on, on metal strings with the bow. But players who play baroque music will always use gut strings since this kind of music was only played on gut strings back then. So... So I would like to, to tell you a bit about my experience with gut strings generally. When I started playing the acoustic bass in the 90s, nearly everybody was playing uh, Spirocore by Tomastic. And for me, this was the way a bass should sound. I loved the playing and the sound of people like Niels Henning, Östad Pedersen, John Patitucci. And the first time that I came in contact with a bass with gut strings on was when I uh, had a concert it was somewhere around 1996 or 97. It was a double concert. The main act was Diana Krall. So I was playing in the band before. And uh, in Diana Krall's band, there was a great bassist. His name is Paul Keller. And uh, he had a bass with gut strings on. And at the sound check, he let me check his bass. I played it and I thought, 
what's that such a high action strange playing comfort no sustain a weird sound i thought that's absolutely nothing for me thank you very much i stick to the spyro course and then some years later around the year 2000 i was at the village vanguard in new york and heard the village vanguard big band and on the first set there was a bass player phil palombi who played with steel strings and in the second set there was the actual bassist of the band dennis irwin who played with gut strings and it was so interesting to hear the same band once with steel strings and what once with gut strings i was really impressed that dennis irwin's bass was not loud at all but you could hear everything that you needed to hear perfectly all the information for the music was there and it was like a, a silky sound like a like cat walking i don't know how to describe it so on that day i really understood why gut strings make sense the pulse of the tone is very clear and gives you already the pitch information and then due to the short sustain the bass just doesn't mess with the with with all the other things happening in the sound that way the bass leaves some room in the sonic space for the other instruments so that basically makes the sound of a band clearer i would say for me the sound of notes from a bass with gut strings are a little bit like like punches with a with boxing hand shoes it's really bang 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 and and that's the way and that's the way the notes come through in the band whereas with metal strings uh, the notes are more comparable to a knife cutting through the soundscape because uh, they have more uh, i would say they have more mid high frequencies and these are the frequencies that you hear really well when you're playing metal strings whereas with gut strings you will more hear the low mid frequencies and also because when you play with metal strings you don't have this really precise punch at the beginning of the tone i have the theory that with metal strings you tend to play a little bit more on top of the beat because that way you will be able to hear the, the bass a little bit more but with but with gut strings you don't have to do that you can play exactly on the beat and you will always be heard maybe this theory is wrong but that's the way I think about it. So finally, after this experience, I ended up buying a set of velvet garbo strings, which are not made of gut, but they are made of natural silk. And their sound is really very close to the sound of plain gut. And I was surprised that from that moment on, I had the feeling that I had much more control over the timing in the band than I had before using metal strings. And also I noticed that I have to be rhythmically much more precise because you could hear exactly where I place the notes. So that sounds really great for gut strings, but still I would say 80 to 90% of the bass players today stick to metal strings. So why is this so? First of all, the expression possibilities. With metal strings, you definitely have more expression possibilities when you play melodically, when you play solos when you play chords or double stops and that's because of their sound but also because of their playing comfort the thing is the gut strings have less tension than metal strings so because of this you need to have a, a quite high action otherwise the strings will hit the fingerboard and make noises so it's a totally different playing feeling when you play gut strings compared to playing metal strings by the way if you want to use gut strings for the first time you have to think about widening the the slots um, on the nut and on the bridge because otherwise you might damage the strings if if they are if they are not wide enough the second kind of a problem with the gut string is the tuning problem gut strings detune much faster than metal strings Actually, it can happen that you tune your bass before a gig, then the people come in the room and just because of the fact that the air becomes much more humid because of the people in the room, the bass detunes and you have to tune it completely again. Another thing is when you first put on gut strings, you will have to 
tune it every day over and over for at least a week because it takes a lot of time for gut strings to to expand to a point where they will stay where they are the third thing about gut strings is that they are not very versatile for different styles i love to use gut strings for jazz and swing music and also for some groovy stuff it works but for instance when i play latin music i have the feeling that uh, i i need a more kind of a smooth sound which doesn't have this box punch feeling so depending on the styles of music you play gut strings might work or not then the the fourth thing metal strings are more even over the range of the bass with gut strings, you will mostly not have the same sustain over the whole range of the bass and the color of the sound will sometimes be different from one note to the other. For instance, sounds quite different and I would say with metal strings, you wouldn't hear that much of a difference. But for many gut string players, this is exactly what they want because it makes the sound of the bass more natural or more alive somehow. And then the fifth thing you have to consider with gut strings is, is that they are quite special to use with the bow. As I said, for baroque music, it's totally normal to use gut strings. But if you're used to metal strings, I would say that many things are more difficult to play with the bow on gut strings. So basically, Playing gut strings is just a totally different concept than uh, playing with metal strings. For me, it's a little bit like two different instruments. It's a little bit like guitar, a guitar with nylon strings versus a guitar with steel strings. Of course, when we talk about the guitar, you have two different instruments with, which are built a little differently. For the bass, it's the same instrument, just with a little different setup. But for me, it's really like two very different sounding instruments. It's a bass with gut strings and a bass with metal strings. And this sometimes brings up weird situations. For instance, I was once hired for a recording. I played the stuff and then when I heard the mix, I realized that the producer actually more wanted a, a metal string kind of sound because he, he put a lot of compression on the bass to have more sustain. So after hearing that, I thought, wow, I should have talked to him about that before and if I would have known I would have shown up with another bass with metal strings on because it really doesn't make sense to try to change technically the sound of a gut string bass to make it sound like a metal string bass. So many bass players including myself wish to have some strings that would put together the best of both worlds into a single set of strings and the thing is that's not really possible. Because some of the characteristics of gut are contrary to characteristics of the metal strings. But still many brands of strings try to make this possible and produce strings that are somewhere halfway between gut and metal. And uh, yeah, actually this was a little bit the reason why I started making the string matrix. Because I wanted to hear myself what these strings sound like and be able to compare them to one another. And after many years of trying, I now ended up with strings that are also made of gut. I have Pirasto Olive on G and D and uh, Sonorous Raps on A and E. And so let's compare this to the plain guts. So I would really be interested to hear about you, whether you have uh, tested gut strings yet or not. And if you did, what did you like? What did you not like so much? Just tell me about your experience in the comments. I'm really interested to read about that. So to end up this video, I will play a standard for you. I chose the tune Broadway. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you didn't do it yet, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of the new videos coming up. So see you again very soon. Bye bye.